And Scott, for you, Ross McCausland looks like 2027. 20, a deal looks as if he's on the verge, certainly of agreeing. Good business. I see Barry McFerrickson in his record sport column last week comparing him to uh, Neil McCann. Yep. Um, it's quite an interesting column talking about him, his tenacity and his determination. No, he looks apart. Uh, expect that to get announced in the next, the next day or two. Um, it had to get done, just given the impact that he's had, since, especially since Philip Clement has come in. Um, but it's just interesting, Gav, that his contract's been allowed to run down to this to this point. I mean, what that tells you is that you know, previously, whether that be Michael Beale or the people behind the scenes, you know, they maybe didn't think that Ross McCausland was going to make that breakthrough. And it probably took you know, one of his countrymen, Stephen Davis, to give him give him an opportunity um, when, when Davis had those two games in charge. I think yeah. he put him on. I think he put him on in Limassol. And then crucially, St Mirren away when uh, Zach Lovelace got injured and you know, he, I think he had Lammers and Dessers on the bench that day and he put McCausland on instead. And to me that was the real that was the real opportunity that the kid needed. And listen, he's grabbed it. I thought the home game against Sparta Prague when he came on I thought he was outstanding. Oh, he, came yeah. On, yeah. he came on and made an unbelievable impact for a for a boy so young uh, at that level. In terms, of, I mean, he came on and made, like, two, made two killer passes for chances. Then the shot that was saved, only space about ten minutes within, uh, you no, know, ten minutes from coming on. So, listen, he, he deserves it. His contract shouldn't be allowed to run down at this stage, but it has, um, and it looks as if Rangers are going to tie that up. Because clearly, Clement has liked uh, liked what he's seen from McCausland since he, since he came in. And look, he's not going to come in and be a. I don't think he'll be a regular starter for Rangers right away. But I think he's shown enough um, in the games that he's played to say that he's. You know, he looks pretty fearless. Looks as if nothing will phase him. He's confident. I think he can definitely offer something for Rangers when, as we've all agreed. This season, they, they lack a bit of width. Obviously, Matondo coming back at the weekend will help with that. But McCausland definitely gives them something different. So it's great to see a great to see a young boy coming through, getting his chance and, and taking it. 